Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am the Inconsequential Runner and I've got a short, sharp tip for you today. And it's a tip that occurred to me on a recent run. I went out for a run with, with some of my buddies and um, shout out to them now, Butch, Trent, Joe. So the four of us um, went for a forest run knocked out an hour and a half there, and we talked about a whole bunch of things. And we talked about the things that contribute most to, to performance and running performance. And we started to, started to put proportions next to those things. And as you can imagine, the way we train came up, nutrition was a super big one, and there was a number of other things we talked about with gear and everything like that. But what I want to share with you today is something that was big for me. So I'm not telling you to do this, but it was something that was big for me. So let me share that. What was big for me, and you can choose if it's going to work for you or not. And it's this, making sure that my rewards for running were congruent for running. So what I mean by that is uh, I was, in my earlier days, giving myself rewards that were rewards and in, in inverted commas or quotes or, or whatever, um, incongruent with what I wanted out of running. What I wanted out of running is for running to become easier and for me to get a little bit faster. So what I was finding was I'd come home from a run, and it would be a long run, I'd knock out an hour, hour and a half, two, sometimes two and a half hours. And that in my mind justified me, just, yeah, to justify, I was justified in my mind to eat whatever I wanted to eat. And then because of that justification, in my mind, that eating that took place after that, I'll call it the eating, like it was an event or something, <laughs> it was. But what I ate was incongruent with what my body needed and my running aspirations. So not complete junk food, but not the best and way too much, way too much. And not the nutritionally rich and dense stuff your body's screaming for to help start the repair and the recovery process. So to sum it all up in a short statement, it's this. Make sure your rewards, and I call it a reward, it was like, it just it could be just a post run meal, but make sure your rewards are congruent with your goals. Reward yourself. You do something great, you go out for a two and a half hour long run, and that's half an hour longer than your other long runs over the last couple of weeks, couple of months, could be the longest one in your training block. Reward yourself, absolutely. Just make sure, if you want to continue to progress, that your reward is congruent. Go to the movies, have a nice long hot bath. Subscribe to, to one of the very few running magazines that are still going at the moment. Get that hard copy delivered to you in the post. Um, just whatever you do, if you wanna to continue to progress, make life easier for yourself by making sure everything's pointing in the right direction and that includes rewards. Making sure your rewards are congruent to your running aspirations. That's it, that was a big thing for me. Oh, another tip. So what I started to do, because of course when I came home hungry, I was in no position to make sensible decisions. So what I started to do and what I do now is I plan my post-run meal and I, and I set it up before I do the run. So before I go on my run, it is all ready to be consumed when I come home. So there's less thinking, and more importantly, there's less, for me, dumb thinking about what I eat. If I didn't prepare a meal, I'd come home and I'd eat whatever was easiest to eat because I was hungry, right? And the stuff that's super easy to eat is usually, there's a strong correlation, it's usually your, your over-processed stuff, your ultra-processed foods they are more readily available, or not readily available, they're easier, faster to eat. So the better stuff that would take 10, 15, 20 minutes, and that might be, you know, compiling your salad and sprinkling, sprinkling on the salad, all that yummy stuff that you like, you know, nuts and seeds, and, and it might be paneer or cottage cheese or 
um, hello me, shredded chicken, whatever it is, prepare all of that. This is me talking to me now. Prepare all of that early, before, early, <laughs> before I go on the run. Before I go on the run. So when I come back, no prep involved. The right food is there for me. So yeah, early, can't beat it right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that just worked lovely. All right, that's it. That's something that worked really well for me. Just sharing it, just in case it works for you. If it does, steal it. If it doesn't, then just, um, yeah, let it go. If that's a handy little hip, a hip. If that's a handy little tip, I'm getting ready for a training soon. I can't stop thinking about it, so I'm going to be rushing out the door in just a moment. Probably the wrong time to shoot this video, but I love to squeeze in as much as I can. If that's a handy little tip, hit the like button. If you want to stay in the loop with my tips, or better still, Coach Mark's tips, there'll be a few of those coming up. Hit subscribe and you'll be notified when they come through. Thank you so much. Catch you in the next video. Enjoy your next run. Remember, a bad run is better than no run. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.